Hey guys, welcome to week six of the Come Follow Me art journaling series. My name's Jackie Johnson, and this week we're studying 2 Nephi chapters one through five. In this part of the scriptures, Lehi and his family have made it to the promised land, and Lehi's about to pass away, but he's able to bear his testimony one last time to his children and give them each a blessing. We also learn about agency and the fall of Adam. So I'm trying to create a depiction of Adam and Eve, and I wanted it to be all fun and creative and something that no one's ever seen before. And uh, I did create something that uh, no one's ever seen before, and it was horrible. <laughs> I put decorative tape down right where Eve's face is, and I thought, oh, it'll be so cute if there's like this flowery pattern behind her face just kind of peeking through just a little bit. No, it wasn't cute, and it didn't work at all. And even though it wasn't working, I still tried to save it, but alas. Finally, I just gave up on that one, and I decided to move on to attempt number two. So I started to work my magic. And by magic, I mean that I covered my picture with a piece of paper. Normally, if my art journal pages aren't working out, I'll just cover it with collage. But I used collage in my last two videos and I kind of wanted to just switch it up a little. And since my experiments have been working out so well, I decided to do another experiment. And I just really had my heart set on creating on watercolor paper this time. So I glued down a piece of watercolor paper, and then I used the tape to create a border around it and to tape down the edges. And then I decided to go with a much more simple design for my Adam and Eve characters. So the reason why I decided to draw Adam and Eve was because these scriptures talk about agency. Agency is the ability to make choices and to act on those choices. So the reason why Adam and Eve are important to this conversation is because of what happened in the Garden of Eden that made it so that they could choose right from wrong. Before they partook of the fruit of good and evil, they lived in a state of innocence. They couldn't be happy because they didn't know what it was like to be sad. They couldn't make good choices because they didn't know that there were any bad choices. So they were just existing. The Lord also gave them two commandments. The first one was that they could not eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the other one was that they needed to multiply and replenish the earth. Then the serpent beguiled Eve and she partook of the fruit. And then after that, Adam did as well. And by doing so, they were cast out of the Garden of Eden. And this is what is known as the fall of Adam. Many people see the fall of Adam as a tragic event, but it was actually necessary for us to be able to come to earth and continue in our progression. And in Lehi's words, he says, all things have been done in the wisdom of him who knoweth all things. Adam fell that men might be, and men are that they might have joy. So the wonderful thing though, was that there was already a plan in place for there to be a savior. So even though Adam and Eve transgressed in the Garden of Eden, there was already a plan for them to be able to repent and come back into the presence of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. So there are a few different things that need to be in place in order for us to have agency. The first thing is that we need to have a knowledge of good and evil. Each of us was born with the light of Christ inside of us and we can feel when something is right or wrong. The more that we follow after truth, the greater our ability becomes to be able to discern right from wrong. When we allow darkness into our lives, that ability diminishes within us. The next thing that we need in order for us to have agency is a law. We learn of these laws by reading the scriptures and listening to the prophets. The third thing that we need for us to have agency is we need to have opposing but enticing choices. And the fourth and final thing is we need to have the power to act. And I just wanna read from the scriptures here for a second. It says, And the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time, that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. 
and because that they are redeemed from the fall, they have become free forever, knowing good from evil, to act for themselves, and not to be acted upon, save it be by the punishment of the law at the great and last day, according to the commandments which God hath given. Wherefore, men are free according to the flesh, and all things are given them which are expedient unto man, and they are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men, or to choose captivity and death according to the captivity and power of the devil, for he seeketh that all men might be miserable like unto himself. With those scriptures, I'd like to bear my own personal testimony. As we follow after the light, it has been my experience that we become more free. And if we follow after the darkness, we become miserable and can become slaves to our sins. So I have a few more thoughts on this that go a little bit deeper that I'll be sharing on my Instagram account. So if you don't already, go and follow me. I'll put a link in the description box below. And that is it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.